Hola, buenos días, o tardes, o noches, chicos. Um, it's a little bit early for me. And so I've got un cafecito conmigo ahora mismo. And I'm very happy at the moment because my Honduran friends, who I love very much, gave me this football shirt. Uh, it says Honduras on the back, as you can see. Gold and black, very nice. I think it's their away kit, maybe. And this is one of the best gifts I've ever, ever received. Me regalaron. They gifted me it. Um, regalar means to gift or to, to give someone something, by the way. And I wanted to make a quick video on, on Spanish learning and my philosophy for it. Because for so long, I lived in the books. You know, I was always a bit of a perfectionist, wanted to get the grammar on point, And that's super important. That's why I make these videos for you guys. But it is only half of the journey. And I'd say the less important part. And so training, doing the grammar, doing the exercises, super important. You can do it in your free time, you know, after school, after work or morning. If you're an early person, I'm not. Just work at it. Listen to music, learn, you know, it does require a little bit of effort, but you're building up your vocab, you're acquiring all the skills you need, the foundation. But then the most important part and the second part of my two stage philosophy is just get out there, make a fool of yourself, make mistakes, try not to overthink it. It is the fastest way to learn, I promise you. Don't be embarrassed, people, people respect you for learning their language. I found that without a doubt, and it's a good feeling, and people appreciate it. I remember when I was in, in Madrid, in my early 20s, and I was working there. At lunchtime, if you don't know already, the Spaniards, they like to take a bit of time for lunch, to platicar, to have some conversation, to chat. And they don't do the lunch at the desk thing, as we do over here. So it's usually an hour, on a Friday, sometimes it's an hour and a half, two hours. And on Friday, you might go out, get a menu del día, the menu of the day at a local, local cafe, restaurant. But we had a little canteen in the, in the office. And every lunchtime, you know, an hour, you'd go there and you'd speak, chat Spanish. You'd, you'd chat in Spanish. And I remember I would always used to, I'd be bricking it. I was so nervous. You know, I, I love my colleagues. They're really nice. But my Spanish was pretty budget, actually. At times, I was worried about mistakes. Obviously, I didn't understand a lot of the time. There'd be a big group of people, about 12 people around the table, all speaking super quickly as well. And I, I wouldn't understand it. And then all of a sudden, I'd hear Harry, like that, my name. And I'd just go completely red, embarrassed. They'd kind of laugh, but, but in an endearing way, you know, nothing malicious. Slowly but surely, I sort of got used to it. And I got comfortable being exposed like that with myself, it's completely to do with myself. And I think that with language learning, that's the best aspect of it is the self-development in a way, the growth you experience within your own, within your own being because you put yourself out there and you've got to be willing to be a fool before you can be a master. Not that that's the goal anyway, but the goal is to just connect with people and have experiences, you know, meet people from all around the world who give you amazing stuff not just material but um, memories so slowly but surely I got used to it and I put myself out there and I grew more confident and there were some great jokes that we made it's the best feeling when you make a joke in another language and you've got to kind of be creative I had to with my limited vocabulary so I rely a lot on acting as well and dropping some English words in there and that's how you learn and I always say making mistakes is the best way to learn because you remember it I was like, oh, yes, I made that mistake in this situation at the lunch table in Spain. And then I, I'll never make that again because it's so ingrained in my memory. So don't ever let the fear stop you. Keep going. Keep putting yourself out there. And I hope you enjoy my videos. But just remember that's only one part of it. The less important part. The more important part is just going out, meeting people, approaching people, talking to them and connecting with them because it will absolutely transform your life. I cannot confirm that enough so slightly different video today i don't know what inspired me to make it um please do continue to let me know what kind of videos you want me to make any topics you want me to cover please do like this video 
and subscribe to the canal if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate the support so far. It means uh, el mundo, the world, world to me. Y pues nada. That's another thing I love the Spaniards say. Pues nada. After a really long conversation. Pues nada. It doesn't, you know, well, nothing. That's it. Entonces, hasta luego, chicos. Un abrazo. Chao.